some of us may experience stomach and bowel problems. This may be so severe that surgery is needed. In some cases, this surgery makes it necessary for the doctor to create an opening in the intestinal system. Such an opening is called a stoma. During a stoma operation, the surgeon removes part of the gastrointestinal tract and creates an artificial opening in the abdominal wall, so the bowel contents can get out of the body. A stoma is therefore not a disease, but the result of curing a disease. Unfortunately, a stoma results in incontinence, meaning a loss of control of when excretion of feces and urine and air take place. This necessitates a placement of a bag on the stoma to collect the bowel contents. Following a stoma operation, the patient can usually return to living a full life. Let's meet a couple of people who have had a stoma operation. Here's Morton, family man and real outdoor type. Morton isn't afraid of hard work. Sina, who works in a canteen, doesn't have a stoma but a J pouch. An internal reservoir created through a surgical procedure where part of the large intestine is removed and the small intestine is attached to the anus. Christian runs his own company and needs to stay alert at every hour of the day. A real hands-on executive. Here he's talking with Hiller, who works as a secretary. She too has had a stoma operation. Susanna can't get through life without her daily bicycle trips, in any weather. She has had most of her large intestine removed due to a serious intestinal disease. Here's Steen, who every day, summer or winter, enjoys a run in the forest with his dog. Katrina has found a lovely boyfriend in CERN and works steadily as a service employee. The life of Katrina's family has often been influenced by the long-running disease of their daughter, especially when she needed a stoma at a very young age. Her younger sister Sophie has been so interested in Katrina's situation that she wrote an extensive school paper about stoma. Katrina often enjoys a splash at the public swimming bath. The Danish Astronomy Association, COPA, has several special interest groups, including young people with stoma or intestinal disease. Here, children gather for a cozy weekend. They go shopping, cook, and have social relations with others in a similar situation. Henning travels a lot and is used to security checks in airports. Stoma patients usually have no problem carrying stoma gear in their luggage, but sometimes it helps showing your ostomy card, even though it's not officially acknowledged. In Denmark, approximately 12,000 people have had a stoma operation. COPA offers national get-togethers for stoma or reservoir surgery patients and their relatives. Here they can share advice and experiences from a life with stoma and realize that in spite of having a bag on your stomach, you can continue with your life, partying with good food and great company. Around the country, local stoma societies arrange meetings with information about new products. Here, skilled professionals may give advice on stoma care 
provide a closer look at various types of bags and closure systems and give important information about stoma appliances. New and better products for stoma patients are constantly being developed. COPA offers advice for stoma patients, especially those with recent surgery often need a talk. Here Grit and Steen stand by to give advice at a hospital. Since they've both had a stoma operation, they speak with insight and experience. Many hospitals have an outpatient department where a specialist stoma nurse handles related problems. Here Hanne is visiting to get advice from a nurse Camilla. The annual family weekend for parents and children with stoma or other bowel problems is very important. Parents can discuss problems in their children's daily life and get an idea for how to deal with situations related to school, friends, leisure activities and so on. For the children and their siblings there are many activities, both practical and theoretical. The whole family gets time to be together and can return home from a good experience, knowing that they're not alone. Other people deal with the same issues. Jeg hedder Anders Tøtrup. Jeg er overlæge på kirurgisk afdeling P på Aarhus Universitets Hospital. My name is Anders Tøtrup. I'm the chief physician at Aarhus University Hospital. My area is surgery, dealing with various types of intestinal disease, like intestinal inflammation and colitis ulcerosa. Stomas are being employed increasingly, often as a temporary device, but they can also be the final solution. In this case, it's called a permanent stoma. A stoma created from a small intestine is called ileostoma. From the large intestine, it's called colostoma. In rare cases, it can be necessary to lead the urine out, that's called a urostoma. When creating a stoma, it's usually because a part of the gastrointestinal tract is being removed. This can be due to the intestinal inflammation or cancer. When a stoma is created, it should be placed at the correct part of the stomach. Most surgeons have wide experience with judging where to place the stoma. But in many cases, the decision is made in dialogue with the stoma nurse. Creating the stoma is a large or small operation, depending on whether the part of the intestine has been removed. Often, the surgery is performed with the aid of an endoscope. That's what we recommend because it results in a more gentle procedure. For instance, in case of colitis ulcerosa, a type of inflammatory bowel disease, use of an endoscope can often help us secure the best possible process. Problems may result from a stoma operation, especially from surgery of the rectum. Those problems may relate to a sexual function, which can happen for both men and women. For men, it may result in impotence, or in so-called retrograde ejaculation. Those cases may lead to problems in having children. In case of an operation in the rectum, we advise having some sperm frozen before the operation. But this risk is very low, approximately 2%. For women, there's a different problem. Surgery on the rectum, for instance in case of colitis ulcerosa, may lead to difficulties obtaining pregnancy, especially in the case of open surgery. Today, we usually employ endoscopic surgery and the ability to become pregnant remains just about normal. My name is Birte Nissen. I'm a stoma nurse at Aarhus University Hospital. At the stoma clinic, we meet the patient prior to the surgery and prepare them for living with stoma. About 14 days after the operation, we meet the patient again, and then once more, perhaps half a year later, as well as according to need. For many, getting used to a life with stoma takes time. 
stoma patients react in many different ways. As time goes on, most end up having a pretty normal, everyday life. Research shows that this process may take about six months, and that's our experience too. We frequently recommend COPA, where patients can meet other people who have lived with stoma for many years. COPA has advisors who know the issues from personal experience. Basically, there's nothing you can't do with stoma. But questions and challenges may arise. And then you can contact the stoma nurse. It can be questions related to work, traveling, sex or sport and swimming. Many people worry about whether they can eat and drink what they used to, and most people can. There may be challenges in the beginning, but later on they can eat as usual. Skin and stoma problems may arise. We have extensive experience with various bandage about what works best. Things that always used to work may suddenly give trouble, and you're allowed to contact us about that too. And when you're newly operated, the stoma nurse can help you fill out an application, so you can get help with your expenses for stoma products. If you have any questions or seek advice, you may contact the Danish Astronomy Association, COPA, at telephone plus 45 57 67 3525 or www.copa.dk.